I'm Mike Spence, and it's Open Mic Fridays. I'm here with Tara Forget, the executive director of the Amador Arts Council, and the new executive director, I should say, because you were just brought on, and uh, it's an exciting new position to be, you know, it's an ambitious undertaking, Tara, and I'm sure you're very excited about it. It's great to have you on the show today to be able to go over some of the ideas behind the Amador uh, Arts Council and what you're trying to achieve here in the county. And Thanks, also Mike. to learn a little bit about you. Thanks, Welcome. Mike. Appreciate it. No, Great not at all. Here. You must be brave enough to come on Open Mic Fridays. <laughs> this is kind of a casual format. We're not trying That's to great. do a whole lot of uh, politics and religion. We talk about just what's going on in the county and what's on Perfect. your mind and, uh, you know, your personal outlook and uh, what it's all about in terms of what's going on with the Amador Arts Council. It's exciting to be, you know, supporting the arts and every way possible. I know Cam Merzlak is going to be jealous because he's a big <laughs> supporter of the arts and you can Cam come. Cam is a big supporter. You can come back on with Cam at any time. Great. And uh, you're always welcome here. Thanks, TSPN Mike. is a big supporter of the Arts Council as you know. And I know you are. I appreciate that. Yeah, I know you're from over. Why don't you tell us a little bit uh, about yourself. I know you're from over in the West Point area. Calaveras I am County? actually from Calaveras County. Calaveras County. Okay. But I always say the county lines are blurred for us because we're on the north side of the county and we are you know, frequent patrons of all the businesses in Amador County. Come over mm -hmm. here to go out on date nights and do our grocery shopping oh, and everything else. So. Yeah, well, welcome to Amador County Thank because you. I'm sure you're very familiar with the county. As I you am. Mentioned. But uh, it's nice to be able to start a new position and be able to you know, get exposure to our viewers, especially uh, everybody who watches TSPN. I'm sure they're very interested in what your new plans are with Great. the Arts Council. Well, thanks. Thank you very much. I have been working with nonprofits for about 10 years. I've been a program director for a nonprofit in the West Point area. And so I was really excited at this opportunity. I saw the listing and just jumped at it, at the chance to work for a new nonprofit and learn a little bit more about Amador County and support the arts in Amador County. Well, so. it's a big nonprofit organization. It's a great organization. I, I know the last time we uh, ran into one another, it was at a, it was at a Bella Grace at a Yes, at a that was in one of our uh, arts networking What a events. nice event that was. Those yeah. are a, a quarterly event that we put on just yeah. to give artists and supporters of the arts a chance to kind of get together and unwind and talk about why it's important to support the arts. Well, what a great County, group so. of people. I mean, the, the faces and the people who were there. It was a special group of Amador County uh, folk, and I'm sure they're very supportive of your new... Well, it's, new a, it's a great county to be involved in the arts. We like to say that the arts in Amador County are one of our natural resources, like wine, water, and our beautiful landscapes and so we we support them and promote them in that way they need to be protected and cultivated and we have an unusually large number of artists that have made their home in Amador County so it's it's a great resource and there's some fantastically talented people up here and people who just love and support the arts even if they're not an artist themselves so it's a great place right all to be ages involved. too I mean you're not only involved with the artists throughout the county but you're also involved with the school system from eight to K to yes. 12. And, you know. Yes, arts and education is one of the main parts of what the Amador Arts Council does. Is Most of the funds that we're able to generate, we turn around and put right back into arts education. So this year, I think we can say that 1,100 students in Amador County will have a professional artist come into their classroom and do an intensive arts class. So. What a great thing, because I know uh, I attended the breakfast workshop uh, earlier, Alliance, yes. right, and I was listening and I heard that, you know, after, you know, you hear about all those millions of dollars that the state, you know, puts into the mm -hmm. arts programs and what that actually correlates into with each student getting, receiving about $15 per yeah, year. it's not enough. So whatever, uh, you know, is being provided by the state yeah. or the federal government is just not enough to... Uh, get that arts education going and that's yes. incredibly important. Yes, so the Alliance, which you mentioned, is a is a new organization of people within the county that is part of a statewide network that brings together artists, educators, parents, and just supporters of the arts to try to advocate for keeping arts education in the schools. Right, well it's, it's getting the word out, it's always a challenge. I sit on the uh, Parent Teacher Advisory Council with Dick Glock and Superintendent you. of Schools. Uh, it was just for the last year or two, but you know we go over different topics and try to do different things for the schools. And there's mm -hmm. always that need, and we you know we try to figure out what's the best way to get the 
it's get a tough the job. word out. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a tough and that's job. your job. That's it is a tough job. <laughs> well, it's going to take effort that's on a, the part of mm-hmm. parent-teacher organizations, teachers, superintendents, and just community members who care about the arts. So it's a big job, bigger than one person. That's well, it sure is. I know you have a lot of events coming up. Before we go to the break, um, you know, we're going to go over a listing of uh, all the different arts events that are coming mm-hmm. up. We're going to go into detail about those. And uh, I know that you have a whole list of things that we can talk about. I do. We'll take a little butter break. Of course, we want to include butter in the show because everybody has been emailing. They want butter to have her own show. She's my new puppy. I can't wait and, to see uh, that puppy. So they want her to have her own show. So she's going to be part of our show in the middle. So everybody can stay tuned for that. Great. But uh, it's just exciting to be able to have new energy. And Amador County is just important, you know, in terms of someone getting out there and getting the word out and having that energy to, mm-hmm. to make sure everybody's interconnected. And I'm sure there are so many people out there who just are dying to find out how to get involved and well I'll and, let them uh, know there's plenty of opportunities yeah, how to, to become a member how to Absolutely. how to support the uh, you know the events that are coming up Great. and uh, we're going to talk about those and I know that um, you have a new location now is your office location where is that at? when they brought me on we also opened a new office that's in downtown Sutter Creek which is a great place for us to be you can walk right into the office we're actually in the annex of the Monte Verde Museum oh what a perfect so it's place right there on Randolph Street yeah. off of Maine and I'm there four days a week and stop wow, by. A perfect place. We have a great mural by Rand Huggett in the front room. So oh, great. you get to see a little art and we're working on opening a gallery in the office space. Oh that's be, that'd be so, terrific. Yeah. Yeah Sutter Creek is the perfect place for uh, the arts obviously. It's a great you know, location. You're connected and you know plugged into the right the yeah. right spot. How did you find that location? Were they were they in there before you came on yeah. board? Or? Actually the Arts Council it? was in that same office uh, I don't know precisely, but I want to say maybe 10 years ago, okay, 10 or 12 years okay. ago, and actually commissioned the mural of Sutter Creek by Rand, I think in partnership with some other organizations. Wow, and so great. it's come full circle. We're back there, and it's a great location. And we are going to feature three or four artists in an office gallery there, which hopefully we'll have open for our art trek, which is on February 2nd. Oh, great. I know you, that when you go to the fundraisers or the evening events that you do have a lot of art displayed by certain artists as well it's just nice to be able to get out there and see some of that for people yeah well there's a lot of talented artists in Amador County and we do all we can to create opportunities for them to show their work and get involved with the community yeah there are I I've lived next to one uh, Lynn Slade is a wonderful watercolor artist Mm -hmm. in Amador County she's my neighbor at the gate and and so we're very close and she she holds workshops at her home and it's always exciting to see all that Mm -hmm. happening Uh, We're going to go to break here in a few seconds, and then we're going to be back with Butter. We're going to spin the wheel for a uh, special prize this week. Bring that puppy uh, on. Yeah, everybody's excited about that, (laughs) and uh, she'll probably try to maul you when she comes on. But uh, we'll we'll keep her under control, and she's a wild animal, wild, wild, wild animal. And we'll be right back in a few seconds with more TSPN. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN. 